see how strong that light is. If you push your hand down like this and you look at it, you can actually see the bones in your hands. It goes all the way through your fingers. Just a couple double A's runs it. That's everything you need right there to make it. Just your power source with the battery cradle, the breadboard, the wire, and the diodes, and the optional dimmer switch. And that's it. Quick shot of the wire I use. The 22 gauge, 100 foot spool, solid core wire, coated. All right, and then to put these things together, it's super simple. It's just the three things, the wire, the breadboard, and the diodes. Before we get started, a couple of things. That's the length of the jumper wire, about an inch and a half. On the diodes, notice the length of the leads. One is longer than the other. Longer one's positive, shorter one's negative. And this is the wire I like to use. 22 gauge, and I buy it in 100 foot spools. It's called solid core, and it's just uh, coated in white. But something like that, about three bucks. So the best way to think of this in terms of putting it together is just focus on the rows. I got nine rows of six. They're, each row is wired exactly the same. So when you know how to do the first row, you can just duplicate that all the way down. All I did was tap off of what they call the power rail for each one. Blue is negative, red is positive. So you just take two wires, negative to one set of holes and positive to the one below it. Then put the diode in corresponding to the negative and the positive. You drop in three, then you got to put a little jumper in right there because all these holes are connected, but they're not connected to this set. So you connect them all together, all ten of those holes, with jumper wires, so two of those, and then three more diodes. That's it. Then you just do the same thing all the way down. This one is nine with a set of holes in between each one. You see the gaps. And then this one, exactly the same except no gaps. So I put 13 in a row and wired it accordingly. All right, and when you get it built to connect the power source, it's as simple as just taking the positive and negative leads from either the battery cradle or the transformer and dropping them into the power rail. As far as cost, these are about three bucks on Amazon. Batteries, almost nothing. And the wire was like three bucks a spool, the breadboard was five, and I get the diodes in packs of 100 for about 20 bucks. Drop the wire in, like that. 
couple of turns, and it's in there. And that's all you got to do. To remove it, same thing. Super easy. There's a shot of the back of the switch. You can see the pluses are on the inside and the negatives on the outside. There's the setup. This is the one with 54 on it. This is the one with 80, 78 on that one. Even brighter. Just a couple double A's runs it. You of course don't have to go with the super high power ones like I normally do. You can go with the regular ones if you want. Here's just a mix or assortment of different colored ones. They're about 2 millicandela versus 2700 millicandela. That's what those look like. Also note you can't mix the two types of diodes. These being so much more low power than those. If you try to put them in line and fire it all up, they just won't come on. All the other ones still will, but it'll just drown these out. To do that, that's where the resistors come in and everything you hear about when people say you need to use resistors for the diodes. This is just a shot to show you they make the boards in all different sizes. Double size, standard, even these little mini ones that you can kind of clip together. It's got little things for clipping the boards together. Then to use the panel, just wherever it's sore, hold it there for about a minute and a half. Around the knee, up under the knee, maybe back of the hand if your fingers hurt, around your wrist. These panels are a good size. By the way, don't look directly at these lights if you're using the high-powered ones. Always at an angle, and don't look at them at all if you can help it. Here's a quick shot of an 880 nanometer panel. These are the ones that are totally invisible to the eye. I'm going to turn the light off in here so the camera will pick it up. The camera picks it up as kind of a whitish, almost light purple.